did your agent meet you or see your performance then? Yes. Um, she actually came to, wow. uh, from that, she had her eye on me already and she made it very clear that she was interested in me. And then she actually came to my graduating show at the end of my school year. Um, cause theater Ontario happens before you graduate, which is kind of cool. Cause you get to like be in Toronto and kind of like set up meetings if you want. Um, and I did, I met with honestly, like almost every agency in the city, um, a lot of agents and, for me, it was like energy, like, do we vibe? What do you want from me? Um, I'm not trying to be this like crazy superstar. I need someone to guide me and I need um, clear communication. I need someone to show me the ropes at the same time. Um, so I was looking for something so specific without knowing that this was probably the biggest decision at the start of my career. Choosing your team is crucial, um, you know, cause you could be Where the best actor ever. Where? One, I where mean, that mentality of no issues in team because there's a lot of people who they just see an agent and then they'll just sign with them right away without really interviewing and understanding yeah. the vibe that they honestly connect with. And it's true because you know you're excited to be like chosen in a way, but. I mean, I know a lot this a lot more now is that you have to remember that they're working for you um, just as much as they want to say yes to you. You have to want them as well. It's like any partnership in life, whether it's a friendship or a romantic partnership, um, it has to go both ways. But when it comes to this relationship, like they work for you. So if anything, you should be the one asking questions. Um, but I got some really good advice on my third year, you know, like I had a lot of incredible um, teachers that told me, don't let people put you in a box. Don't let them um, tell you that you're just the pretty girl and you don't have any depth. Um, I got told, don't make any rash decisions, sleep on it. Even if it's just one night, just sleep on it. Um, yeah, just little things like that, that I think kind of, I got reminded because I had the same thing. Like, I swear to you, as soon as I was done my showcase, I already had like three emails in my inbox uh, from characters, from like agencies that I know are good agencies, but I didn't know anything about them. So I went back to my school and I kind of asked around. Honestly, I was like completely open about who was interested, who was reaching out. And I just kept asking people's advice. And I think that's why it made an impact because when I talked to people about who was interested, they were like, if this person wants you, you're set like they're a great agent or they would be like you know what this seems more of a match than this person they're great but maybe not for what you're looking for like it was really good to talk to people who were already in the industry for a while 